What's up, black and white sports fans? John Matrix here, and I am back with another video. All right, we have some breaking news coming out of football, namely the XFL. We all know that, that the XFL filed for bankruptcy protection. Vince McMahon was trying to sell the company, and now we have a buyer. Dwayne The Rock Johnson and his investment group have agreed to buy the XFL for $15 million. Now, I was looking over here on ESPN and it says a group including actor and former WWE star Dwayne Johnson has agreed to purchase the XFL for approximately $15 million, according to a news source issued Monday. The XFL declared Chapter 11, Chapter 11 bankruptcy August, April 13th. I can't even talk. Sorry. And has been seeking a buyer for the past three months, marketing itself as made for TV product that could transition as early as 2021 to a bubble concept during the, the virus pandemic. I'm hoping this will work out. The XFL, the first season I thought was very, very good. Rhodes covered the XFL a lot on his channel. I really liked the way they covered the XFL. And then, of course, the virus happened and then, bam, the whole league just completely, completely fell apart today. So in a statement here, Dwayne Johnson provided a glimpse of the man like Flair he could bring to the league. It says to quote the acquisition of the XFL with my talented partners, Danny Garcia and Jerry Cardinal is an investment for me that rooted deeply in two things, my passion for the game and my desire to always take care of the fans. Johnson said who played football at the university of Miami from 1990 to 94 with pride and gratitude for all that I built with my own two hands I plan to apply these calluses to the XFL and look forward to creating something special for the players, fans, and everyone involved for the love of football. This is so great, man. So great. Finally, we can get a lead that will continue outside of the NFL. Like I said before, the first season was a lot of fun up until the pandemic struck and then the XFL was forced to sell. I wasn't really feeling too confident that we would actually have the XFL going forward. Now it looks like we're going to have the XFL in 2021. Of course, you know, they have some dotting the I's and crossing the T's thing to do, but it's going to be fun to see Dwayne Rock Johnson heading the XFL. I hope the XFL can make it. It's a very, very good product. Hopefully we can see it for years to come. I like the concept of having this league after the Super Bowl, because usually after the Super Bowl, we go through, football withdrawal we're like man this sucks we don't have football but this season it started after the Super Bowl and it was a lot of fun I really really did enjoy it on my Sunday afternoons when I was able to watch the games um, I will say that they need probably smaller facilities so it can actually make make it look like it's better on TV because you know playing in an NFL style stadium 75,000 people when you have 20,000 people doesn't look very very good on TV but that's the news, folks. The XFL is saved. Dwayne Rock Johnson agrees to buy the XFL for $15 million. That seems like a very, very small investment that he's putting forward with his investors. And hopefully, you know, they can get a quick return on their investment. I don't know if there's going to be fans, you know, next year for the XFL. We'll have to see. Hopefully they make good strategic decisions to make the XFL last for a very, very long time. But we need to get this league going, man, because it's a whole lot of fun. But anyway, guys, that's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? The XFL is saved. Dwayne Rock Johnson saves the day for the XFL. Let us know what you guys think about all this in the comments. Make sure you subscribe to Black and White Sports, and we'll catch you next time.